Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates, but before we get to them, we gotta talk a little bit about the Masters Mr. Olympia winner, Kamal El Gagni, and let's say about a top 3 results. So if you guys watched my previous video on this topic, in my prediction, basically based on what I saw, I really thought that Phil Klahar is going to win that show, I thought he was bigger, I thought he was rounder, he had a better axe taper, he was just... A bigger man and he brought good conditioning good fullness i thought kamal was a little bit too small i thought his legs were a bit too flat i thought his waist is a bit too thick so i figured he can't win this show i thought he would beat max charles as he did because of conditioning especially from the back but i thought it wasn't enough to win the show to beat phil Klahar. But I was apparently wrong, though I'm not a bookie, I don't need to predict these this shows, I was just doing an analysis, I, I thought that uh, Phil was gonna win and that's what I said and I was wrong, I guess I made a mistake. All the things I thought about Phil, about Kamal, I'm sure I was right, those are all facts, but I didn't consider one thing and that was Phil's stomach, his midsection was off, very much so at this show, as you can see from behind, he killed everybody, like he was peeled, he was super big, his back was just insane, but the reason why he lost this show, why he placed third actually, he didn't even play second, he placed third, was because that gut was really problematic, I mean I saw it when I was watching the video, I just didn't think that they would, the judges would actually punish him uh, that much for it, he did win Orlando Pro recently, but his stomach wasn't this bad, at that show, so as you can see right here, the, the, the midsection, the gut was protruding, it was definitely not looking very good, and these days those things are really punishable, so if you have a bubble gut, you most likely won't win a show, especially not if it is as bad as Phil's was, I somehow overlooked that, and yeah, I, I realize now that Phil could not have won this show, and uh, yeah, I did think that Max was gonna place behind Kamal, I thought Kamal was gonna be second, but Phil dropped all the way down to third, and Kamal won, and I would have to say right now, deservedly so, his midsection was spot on, even though his legs were way smaller, even though his back was much smaller, even though his waistline, his axe taper, re taper wasn't very good, and he's just a much, much smaller bodybuilder than the other two guys, it was still the most complete package, and uh, yeah, he deserved it for sure. Phil Klahar also posted this, uh, he says here that uh, Steve Weinberger actually told him to post this photo, as you can see his left leg was swollen like crazy, it was I think from a bad shot, he got an infection, I think he was in a hospital for like a week, and he was on a lot of antibiotics, and he says they ruined his gut, and that's why, as you can see here in the caption, it says it destroys your gut, and that's why his, his stomach was protruding so much, that's why he had a problem with it, and basically that's why he lost this show, at, a, at one moment he wasn't sure if he was even gonna do this show, he was about to quit his prep only a couple of weeks out, uh, but he decided to go through with it, and third spot was still a great success in my eyes, if you exclude the midsection, he was the best bodybuilder on that stage, and I think next year, if the age doesn't take a toll on his body and he comes in looking fresh like this, if he peaks properly once again and he controls his midsection better, then yeah, I think he will win the Mr. Olympia Masters next year. But as for right now, Kamal is the champion, he is the Masters Mr. Olympia winner. And you guys tell me in the comment section, what do you think about this? If you guys want more gains, but you also want to take care of your gut, here is classic creatine, old school apps creatine, which has uh, probiotics in it, so it's a great thing for your gut, and it's a very well micronized creatine, but it's just a creatine with some probiotics, so if you guys use my code IVAN, you get a 15% discount, so I think it's a pretty good deal, you get creatine and, prob and probiotics in it as well, so I think it's an awesome deal for you guys, if you guys want to try it, you, there is the link down below, but make sure to use the code IVAN, that's also how you can support these channels, thank you guys, now let's proceed to the next topic, which is Urs Kletzinski and his physique update at 10 weeks, out of Mr. Olympia, 
So as you can see right here, he took this photo, a couple of photos actually, with Jay Cutler. By the way, Jay Cutler is looking freaking shredded. <laughs> He's in a really good shape right now, obviously not as big as he once was. I'm curious if he would make the weight for Classic, because obviously Urs is bigger here, but he is closer to the camera as well. He outangled Jay a little bit. Also, Jay is missing a couple of body parts, like shoulders. You can see them especially right here. But he's almost natural right now. He's using very, very low doses. If he upped them and if he focused more on bodybuilding, he would probably get much bigger and rounder. I mean, this guy was known for his shoulders. Uh, but right now, this is the way he looks. And Urs, who is 10 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, looks damn shredded once again he is ready early like last year during this off season he looked super bloated he looked enormous i think he got up to like 270 or so uh, maybe even more than that and his face looked like a freaking basketball actually it looked like jay cutler's face back in the day when he was doing his off seasons so it was very very bloated but all of a sudden, like very, very, in a very short time, he got shredded. I mean, look at his face now, look at his jawline. So he is peeled already at 10 weeks out, as he usually is. Uh, is this a smart approach? I have no idea. But he is shredded. You can see all the feathers, all the lines in his, in his quads. But this guy is really known for his legs. His legs are crazy. What about his upper body? Did he improve his upper body too? I would say so, I mean, I don't know, it's just one photo, the lighting is obviously very flattering, I mean, he looks insane in this photo, he looks like he did gain some serious fullness, some serious freaking size, I mean, look at those freaking delts, like, they're very, very round right now, the fullness in his arms as well, the chest also looks very full, and as you can see, his conditioning is very good, I don't know how much more shredded does he really need to get personally he looks like one week out to me on these photos two weeks max and there is 10 more weeks so i don't know what his weight is right now but he's probably over the weight cap so i'm guessing he's gonna have to die down and lose muscle i mean if he could step on stage looking like this or maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more dehydrated and stuff like that, maybe a little bit leaner, but really, I don't know, because he looks super shredded right here, and then he also has that in a combination with fullness and hardness and roundness and size. On stage, his problem, I mean, I'm not saying that he has any problems, he's third in the world, but if he wanted to be number one, or at least number two, to beat Ramon Dino, he would have to make improvements, and what kind of improvements? It's just overall fullness and size of the upper body, and that's about it. Personally, I think his wee taper, his shape is second best in the world. I mean, I think he has a much prettier shape, much better classic structure than Ramon Dino. Maybe not that much better, but better, in my opinion. But Ramon Dino is just bigger to the upper body, has more hardness, more fullness... Also, I remember when I was making a video about this Arnold Classic, I personally had Urs winning because I liked his shape more, I liked his structure more, I thought he was more classic, but I see why Ramon won, it was because of the size in the upper body and the fullness, you can't really see the difference right here, but Ramon had more details, he was just crispier, he, had, he was more shredded, maybe he wasn't leaner, but with the fullness and everything, he just looked super detailed, and you could see that in, in like HD video, when I was watching uh, the live stream, I thought Urs was winning because he didn't see those details and you can't see them right here but yeah Ramon had them because he was fuller and bigger he was simply thicker so if Urs brings his upper body up to the level of Ramon Dino with his shape with his structure I think he can beat him this year yeah do I think that's going to happen well if they stepped on stage in a couple of weeks then yeah I would say so I would bet on Urs if he looked like this like one week out but since he's looking like this at 10 weeks out, I mean, I don't think he can maintain this, this kind of look, this kind of fullness. And I'm guessing he's over the weight cap. So he would probably have to suffer down to lose some muscle, to lose some of that fullness, to come in flat. And I don't know if he's going to be improved. But right now, his upper body looks like it progressed. 
it looks fuller and bigger and I hope it's going to stay like this until the showtime and he's going to show up with a better upper body and play second. Unfortunately, I can't say win the show because Chris Bumstead is still dominating that division. If Chris comes in off or if he doesn't compete, then yeah, Urs can win the Mr. Olympia. But as long as Chris is there and he's at his 100%, no, nobody else is gonna take it away from Chris, but second spot in the world would be a huge leap for Urs. Do I believe it's going to happen? I think it's a possibility. What do you guys think? All right, and for the end, we got a physique update of Good Vito, posted by his coach, Chris Asito. And we are about two weeks out of Italy, and this is what Good Vito looks like right now. You can read a caption here, and Chris says Good Vito is looking round, almost circular. And yeah, I can see that, he is definitely looking circular, like the quads are for sure, they are forming circles basically, the lats are also very big, very thick with a small waist, they are also like forming kind of a circle, and the arms also, very very big arms, and the way it all flows, it looks very good man, it looks incredible, now we do not know what this guy is going to look like on stage, we have no idea what he looks like compared, we do have some heavy hitters actually doing that show, usually that show is not like one of the best shows, but this year it's going to be one of the better shows actually, uh, Regan Grimes and Nathan the Asher both are doing this show, now if you guys forgot, back in 2021 at Prague Pro, these two guys collided actually, uh, I think Samson won this show, I believe uh, Rafael Brandau was second, third was actually Regan, and Nathan Diasha was behind Regan, he was fourth or maybe on fifth, but I know Regan beat him at this show, yeah, so Regan already beat Nathan at one point, and it looks like this year Regan is gonna look much better than before, also Nathan is saying that he is also much bigger and leaner than he ever was, so... Goodwito is gonna have to face nine times pro champion Nathan Diasha, who was, I believe, seventh at the Mr. Olympia at one point, and Regan and Blessing of Oribu, Vlad Zuharuchko, I believe, as well, maybe some other great bodybuilders. So we don't know. We have no idea what Goodwito is gonna look like compared to these guys. I don't think he's gonna lose to Blessing of Oribu and Vlad Zuharuchko. I don't I really don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna have a pretty similar situation to Texas Pro with uh, Carlos Thomas Jr. also had a pro debut when he plays third and I think this is very likely to happen here as well uh, that Good Vito is gonna place uh, third right behind Nathan and Regan but we also gotta consider the fact that he is prepped by Chris Asito and Chris Asito is known for bringing the guys conditioned and, and, and dry and that's basically the only issue, the only problem that could occur with Good Vito, him not coming in good enough condition. But since he is prepped by Chris Asito once again, he's most likely going to be in shape. And based on this, he looks super big and full and conditioned, pretty conditioned. So anything is possible, really, he does look amazing. It's gonna be a hell of a show, actually, Italy and Spain too. We'll see who's gonna win what, who's gonna do what, it's gonna be very, very exciting. For the coverage of those shows, guys, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and once again, if you wanna support me, there is the link down below, check it out, buy any of the Old School Lab supplements, and use the code EVAN for a 15% discount. Thank you guys so much, all the best, and bye-bye.